guys, Ancient Training here, and I'm back with episode 2 of Pokemon Fire Red. Last time we made it here into uh, Viridian. Is it Viridian? I, I forget. I, I just had a break before. I, yeah, Viridian City. Um, and here we can do a bunch of stuff. But before we want to do anything, we want to head over to the Pokemon. And the Mart is where you can buy loads of items and stuff like that. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You came, you came from Pallet Town? How did you know? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you take it to him? Of course I can. I received Oak's parcel. So apparently he's, Oak's got an order of something. So, oh no, I didn't mean to talk to you. No, I don't, because we'll find those afterwards. So yeah, we need to go deliver this back to Professor Oak. This is what I said when I was like, spoilers! Now coming back here, coming back here, you don't have to worry about wild Pokemon. You can just bounce over these ledges. I love that music, awesome. So, let's go in here. Hello, oh, Angel. How's my old Pokemon? Seems to be growing more attached to me. Oh, that's lovely. Must be tender Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? I do. I delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps. By the way, I figured out a name. I should have totally named him Groose. Just because Groose is an awesome name. <laughs> I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh right, I have I have a request for you two. On the desk here is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Yay! Angel Gary, take these with you. Angel received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can get and de uh, you can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You, but you must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We got some Pokeballs! Yay! When all Pokemon appears, it's a, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it to try and catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape, so you have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old, I can't get the job done. So I want you two to perform my dream for me. Get it moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Grams, leave it to leave it all to me. Angel, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. Oh, you jerk! I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll try not to lend you one, Angel. Ha <laughs> Don't bother coming. <laughs> Don't bother coming to my place after this. I'm going to anyway. So. Mwahaha. Wait a minute. I have the funny feeling that one of those. People gives you something? No. No. None of the, I, I'm sure some that one of you gave them something. No. Okay. I'm I'm wrong. But anyway, let's head over to Gary's house and get that town map I was talking about in the last episode. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. That's exactly what I was thinking. Here, this will help you. Ba -dum -ba -dum. I received the town map from Daisy. There we go, we have a town map now. We can access that anytime by going to um, to our bag and then selecting the town map. So as you can see, there is a lot we have yet to explore. We've only been uh, here and Viridian City. So that's how far we've moved in two episodes. We're going to explore all of this, so uh, can't wait for that. Let's go get back. You know, me and I'm going to stay here, so let's just carry on going up. Just make sure that. Ah, oh, yes, I knew there was a guy somewhere here. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain of selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. And he gives you a free potion! Yay! 
I probably should have used that potion. Ugh. Probably should use that potion yesterday. Oh, look, a pidgey. Probably should have used that potion yesterday when I realized I was getting lower on health. But so that critical hit totally took me by surprise. It's about time Bob's all leveled up to level six, so let's just spam it with some tackle. He's in level three, so I doubt I'm going to lose this one. Oh, and I got a pointless critical hit because that would have probably killed him anyway. Yay! Level six. There we go. Now we're where we, now we're where we should have been at the last episode. Oh gosh, that was an epic fail more so than usual. Uh, I'm just going to cut these out. Okay, and we're back. Wild fights are that. If I need to if I need to start training my Pokemon a little bit more, I probably will fight them, but I'll just, you know, skip them and then you'll see them later on in the video. So let's... Welcome. Just heal that real quick. Sometimes in Pokemon, you have some people that would tell you some quite cool stuff, so I'm just going to kind of go around. Free free use PC. The PC is if you have too many Pokemon, or you want to keep some in storage, and you can either have items or Pokemon in storage. Yeah, they don't charge money. Thank goodness they don't. Yeah, okay. I think probably maybe in some later ones, you have some people in the Pokemon Center that will give you some cool stuff, but... As of this moment, that is not the case. You, do you have anything for me? It is great. It's wonderful. Radiant City. Eternally Green Paradise. There's some houses. Back at the do they give you anything for delivering it, or do they just open up their stores to you? Maybe I talk to them in this cab. Oh, no, okay. Pokeball, potion, an antidote, and a paralyzed heal. Now, an antidote! We might want to get a couple of these. No, I don't want just one. I want a couple more than just one. I'll get two for now. Because we'll probably find some along the way, but we're going to a place which um, is prone to poisoning your Pokemon, so an antidote will. Uh... Questionnaire! I'll fill out the questionnaire. Oh, no, not. Nah, not right now. But yeah, they'll poison you, and poisoning very, uh, very slightly decreases your Pokemon's health every, every time, every turn even. <laughs> this shop does good business in antidote, so I wonder why. Gosh. Anyone here? I know it's just a trainer school. Tells you all about like stat status inflictions and stuff, but I see BA to look at it. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have time. T I, I I have time. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Meow meow meow. Hello, Mr. Spiro. Meow meow. Coming up names is fun, but it's not easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easy to remember. My daddy loves Pokemon too! Uh, probably not much to see in this. Oh, hello. Well, now I've had my coffee, and I. and that's what I need to get going! Mm. It's that red box you have! Oh, so you're working on a Pokedex! This one doesn't sound like an old man at all. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex blah 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 blah. No, you do know how to catch Pokemon, right? Where's the best there? And he insists on showing us how to catch a random Weedle that just came out of nowhere. A wild Weedle appeared. I don't think I have any control over. Oh, sorry. I don't think I have any control over this um, this scene, so I can't really speed it up. I apologize. So basically, what you gotta do is you just gotta select the Pokeballs, obviously, from your bag and then throw one at it. You'll always catch this first time, so it's no point in thinking, oh my god, he's gonna catch it? Because he will. Yay! Forgive me if I can't contain my enjoyment. 
There, now tell me that was educational, was it what? Take this. Teachy TV. If there's something you d don't understand, blah, 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 you get a TV. I'm going to carry around a TV wherever I go? Huh. This is pretty cool. This music sounds pretty awesome. Oh, does not go into any kind of music. Oh. Type match up status problems, teach me how to battle, I want to catch a Pokemon, but I know all about that, so yeah. And uh, you can see that there's a little Pokeball behind that behind that tree. That's an item which you can just like pick up off the ground, but we can't get through this tree until we get something further on later in the game, so we don't need to worry about that. Going around here, you see there's a gym. Radiant City's gym doors are locked. I was on top to the dude on the other side. Don't make me jump down. Ah! I just want to talk to the dude. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Brilliant City Pokemon gym. Okay. That isn't our first gym to begin with. So we'll have to skip that one for now. But for now, I just kind of want to go around here, see what's around here. Can I get to that Pokeball from up here? I can! I can! I did, I did, I did see a pretty cat! And here we are on Route 22! Just before I explore anywhere, I just want to have a look around here. I believe at some point you do get um, a battle with Gary up here, but I'm unsure as to when that is. I'm kind of hoping that it's not now, because I'll probably to lose again, but in here, obviously, I'll put in a, a per list of stuff you can find. Okay, this obviously serves no purpose. Um, it's just up here, and I don't know whether you can. Oh, yeah, he gives you a fight. Hey, Angel, you're off to Pokemon League? Forget about it. Probably don't have any badges, do you? Your guard won't let you through without the guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? <laughs> By one level, maybe. So here's our second battle with him. He has two Pokemon now. He has a Pidgey. As well. Oh, he's oh level nine. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go in this into this level six. Lovely. Oh, he's gonna start spamming Sand Attack. Okay, we gotta try and make as quick a work as. Oh, this is a bad idea. Bah ha 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 ha. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Wait. 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 Oh, I'm gonna regret. I regret doing this. Second battle of the game, and I swear I'm gonna lose this. Okay, so you do seven damage when we just that. E, ouch. No, eight. I'm not gonna win this. No, I'm not. If I kept going, it would have been a useless, uh, useless attempt. <laughs> hope you excel. Thanks. I hope I can fight him again. I want to be able to fight him. I want to be able to fight him again. But I'm gonna go up this way for now. Before I come back down here. Uh, trainer tips. Yeah, catch the Pokemon. Uh, generally, the more Pokemon that you have with you, the easier it is for battles. Obviously, because you have more uh, attacking power, so to speak. Okay, and we can't get in there unless we cut that tree down. But we can't do that up this way. But 
Chowder may be, may be small, but don't underestimate, must, uh, underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? No, I don't like Rattata. Look into Brilliant Forest, it's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Yep, we're going to Brilliant Forest. I came with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. So, as we've just been warned by that dude up there, we will be getting into some Pokemon battles here. Yeah, we can Pokemon, blah, 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 blah. But for now, I'm just going to see if I can explore around the place. And there might be some items around, but I don't know. I know there's a couple of items around here somewhere, but there we go, there's one over there. Funny story about Caterpie, actually, is that whenever I uh, played this game, or one which um, I had Caterpie in it, I'd always, for some for some reason, uh, if I had like a Charmander or, or something on my team at the time, instead of a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle, because I like Charmander a bit more, I would always catch a Caterpie and evolve it fully fully into a Butterfree. I'm not so sure why I do that, because bug Pokemon are generally not very good Pokemon. But, um, I did it, so, uh, there's my tiny little story about how I used to always catch a, catch a Caterpie and make it into a Butterfree. They're pretty cool for, like, say, because Butterfree can eventually learn, like, Sleep Powder and Poison Powder and Paralyze things and whatever, but... Ooh, a Pokeball! But apart from that, well, the stats aren't really very good, and I'm gonna cut this out. Okay, and I'm back! Uh huh. Okay, I'm back again. Another thing I should mention is that in trainer battles, you tend to get. Uh, I'll just carry on speaking a minute as a Weedle. Um, in trainer battles, you tend to get more experience points than wild battles. But it, I think in in the early uh, levels, it's quite easy and stuff to just level up your Pokemon because um, as the further you level up, the harder it is to get them up levels so might as well do all the fighting while you can. This should hopefully knock me up to level 8 which would be good. So let's see if it does. 22. Almost. Poison using antidote. Yay. I've gone around in a complete circle, but at least I found an item, item so. What's that one say? Do I have to read it? Stay away from grassy areas. Okay, this is a trainer here, so we might. Ooh, there's an item down there. Take that first, methinks. Potion! So. Okay, so let's go face this. Is that a tr I we were a trainer. First time Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's an. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. Oh, okay, I thought it was a trainer. The one coming up here, that, the one with the hat on over there, is definitely a trainer. So let's face our first trainer battle that isn't Gary. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Bam, bam. Oh, sorry, I clicked out of the uh, window. Go catch your Rick, send out Weedle. Weedle. Go with Lash. Let's tackle it to death. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! I'm starting to run out of PP for that move already, just from randomly facing people. Come on! <laughs> There is no way that I'm going to lose this. I can't. If I lose this, then you have permission to slap me across the face and call me an idiot. Go! I'm shooting out a Caterpie. Will you stop spamming String Shot, please? Jeez! I'm already slower than you. There we go. It's actually attacking me. I could use Leech Seed right now, but this is a lot quicker. Besides, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center in a minute anyway. Yay! 
There we go. Now we're level 9! Woo! We're growing up levels really fast. Yes! This is our first win of the entire series! No! Caterpie can't hack it! Yeah! Okay, well, I, I've seen the timer down the bottom, and I've gone over quite a lot of time. I don't know how much is it, this is going to get cut out in uh, Pokemon Battle Fights, but I'm going to stop it here for now. I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up my Bulbasaur, and meet you back here in the next episode. So, this is Angel in Training, signing out.